everyone. This is Heath. I'm reporting live from the field. That's my buddy Rob. You've seen him before. He's been in a few of the few of my bits. He's also helped me out with Zombie Tales, co-producer, co-director, co-writer, co-everything. But in case you don't know, he's been a huge toy geek. I mean, look at him. Um, he's been able to take his lifelong passion for toys and actually been able to make a little bit of money on the side. Works for Hollywood Heroes, which deals in vintage and modern collectibles. And I'm here today, and we're just going to take a look at some of the very cool things that he gets to come in contact with. And by proxy, I get to drool over and say, but you don't have anything for me, your buddy? Your buddy? Nothing? <laughs> Nothing? I've, got, I've gotten plenty for this guy. <laughs> So Rob, show me some, some of the cool stuff that we got going on. All right, guys, welcome to the warehouse, the garage, the the everything, the epicenter of Cincinnati Hollywood Heroes. This is where I keep most of my stock. Everything, pretty much, that we order comes here to Cincinnati. Um, and so lots of old stuff, new stuff, some of the cool stuff we just got in. Um, Linda Carter, Carter as Wonder Woman statue. This is like the first in the line of DC Direct cold cast porcelain statues that actually you know, are based on you know real people you know linda carter obviously awesome. wonder woman awesome. so that's very cool um lots of stuff we've got uh a, a, oh yeah those are great this is kind of fun line here this is actually a line called savage mondo Blitz, blitzers and this is a line produced in the early 90s by kenner and this line came under so much fire parents hated these toys parents groups organized protest against Kenner, you know, they eventually stopped the line and, uh, you know, for, you know, by now they, you know, not today's standards, they seem very tame. We've got, you know, bad fart, uh, you know, that's very tab, loaded diaper, uh, <laughs> kiss my bat, uh, I pus, you know, and so, you know, I mean, I guess. Well, what were some of the other names? What well, were some you know, I mean, some of them are, you know, we've got a big hair metal guy here, direct hit. A guy who had big hands named Big Hans, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like little, they rolled on Hot Wheel tracks. And, you know, it was a kind of a fun, original concept. Parents hated it. Kenner pulled it. So, that, you know, and they're not really worth anything today. We come across them every once in a while. And I kind of like them. They're fun. I like that weird stuff like oh, that. Weird stuff's uh, cool. <laughs> we've got, um, you know, lots of Star Wars, Nightmare Before Christmas. This is a fun line. Oh, yeah, yeah, This yeah. is actually one of my favorite lines from the early 90s, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And uh, you all know the movie, the two movies, and it actually was a really short-lived cartoon show. Um, you know, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, all of their friends were there, the guys from history. And what's actually cool is the action figures plugged into your mini cassette player and played music. The guys rocked and rolled to the music that was playing through the cassette. And the cassette actually has songs by the Wild Stallions, who were actually guys in Cincinnati, musicians in Cincinnati, because this is where all the Kenner toys were made, who they came in, laid down three three to four tracks. Um, and so it's not the Wild Stallions, in fact. It's you know a couple of studio musicians from Cincinnati. But, That's you know. one way to get around copyright impression, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, toy guys do that all the time. This act this line, you know, it isn't worth a ton of money, but I love it. It's you know, it's a fun little piece of, you know, nineties history. Um, so I love Bill and Ted's. This is actually really yeah, cool. I love this. This was really, really cool. This, let me get this out of here for you guys. Um, this is a gentle giant statue. They do all the great Star Wars busts. It's actually Creatures of Harry Housen, Ray Harry Housen, Clash right. of the Titans. And this is Bubo, the little mechanical owl, uh, clucked in his eyes, kind of flittered a little bit here. This was supposed to be a line of a lot of Clash of the Titans statues. And, and, and from what I've heard, this is the only one they're doing. Um, they released Bubo to 500 pieces, and that's it. So this is a hot little piece right here. Um, it's a great little statue and uh, one of our hotter items for sure. I, there. Oh, that's cool. So anything else kind of cool uh, maybe that you, you haven't know, showed me? I've always me? got some weird stuff laying around here. Uh, I've got a... Uh, oh. You'll, you'll like this one, Heath. What's that? You know, I just happen to have you know original artwork laying uh, around. Can I have that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Shh, don't, tell C C don't, tell, don't tell Jordan. <laughs> see, see me after the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is actually cool. These Before a toy got made, they'd have artists who would draw up concept boards. Um, and they would have you know what it was called, things that they did, detachable, collapsible, oh. fire escape. Um, these are all hand-drawn, hand-colored or whatever, and then they would present these during a line presentation. Say, so we, we envisioned this playset. I've got another one here, uh, um, which yeah. is actually you know, the observatory from uh, Batman and Robin. Uh, 
and you know they would detail the figures who whose it was you know where hinges are kind of cool stuff like this and this is a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork and so guys like us toy guys big Sweet time toys yeah th this is about as cool as it gets because it's one of a kind a lot of times this stuff never gets made i've got a lot of production art concept pieces where you know you know, they were just throwing out ideas, you know, and they would throw out tons of ideas, and you know, most of them wouldn't get made or whatever. Um, I think Heath, you were telling me this one did. Yeah, I know for sure that one did actually, because I'm pretty sure I have that. But and if that one got made, I'm pretty sure that one did. I'll, you know what? Probably. By the time the show's out, I'll be able to tell for sure whether or not that's right. It, well, if out. anybody would know, you guys know who it would be. <laughs> you know, so no, it wouldn't be the guy that calls himself the Batman geek, <laughs> that's right? That's right. And so this is just some of the cool stuff we have that's laying cool. around here at Hollywood Heroes. You know, original artwork. You know, some one one of the kind of cool stuff like that. So that's about it, guys. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour. I hope to be able to do this kind of some, a little bit more often. You know what? Because I'm a geek. Rob's a toy geek. We love toys. We love comics. We love cartoons. This is the stuff I love. I mean, I show you guys my life. I do a bunch of other stuff, and I do a bunch of stupid stuff, but I love this stuff, and this is some cool stuff. So if you want to find out some more information, be sure hey, check out Hollywood Heroes. It's, my fr it's a friend of mine, so check them out. Throw them a little bit of money. They treat me good, so I, I got to treat them good. So, so anyway, this is uh, Heath, the Batman Geek, signing off. Everybody have a great weekend See or a great guys. day, week, whatever. Take it easy. <laughs>